Good day all. Last time we made 499 wheel horsepower with the big boost turbo kit. And then we added a 100 shot of nitrous and made 592 wheel horsepower. Now our new goal is to break our previous record without the use of nitrous. Hope you all enjoy. In this video, we'll be revealing our very own top mount turbo kit. So here you can see we removed the turbocharger and we're doing some markups to create the exhaust manifold flange. On the right, you can see the stock turbocharger. On the bottom, the master power turbo that's utilized on the big boost turbo kit. And on top, that big bad boy, that's a precision turbocharger that we used on our kit. Here you can see some parts used. Uh, at Chaz, we only use the very best. So we have a full race turbo blanket, precision turbocharger. We have a turbo smart wastegate, three port max solenoid, we have a Walbro fuel pump, motor reflex for doing the port injection integration, and we have injector dynamics injectors. Here we have the Vibrant HD clamps for the charge pipe. Here we have the Vibrant 90 degree bends that was used on the manifold, as well as the O2 sensor bongs. Here we have a custom port injection plate from Precision Raceworks. This was modified for the B48 platform. At Shaz, we recommend testing these before actual installing so you can confirm the injectors and the firing order and everything is working as per required before actually installing the plate. That way, when you install it, you know exactly what's going on.
So the car made 550 wheel horsepower. This is utilizing the stock low pressure fuel pump. We maxed it out. There are a couple things we could have done to make more power, but at the same time, we already had the Walbro fuel pump just ready to go inside. So next we proceeded to make a custom low pressure fuel pump upgrade for this car, as there's no actual low pressure fuel pump for the treated TE specifically. All right, so we have here duty cycle 100, frequency six, and uh, let's run the test bench. That's how it sounds.
you could see the car made 650 wheel horsepower breaking a previous record without using any nitrous the turbocharger still has room for more the fuel system still has room as well and this is without any Vanos timing adjustments so there's still room to actually increase spool and get some more power in the lower RPM ranges. Stay tuned, we'll be sharing some more details coming soon. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned here we have a little teaser with the car on wastegate spring pressure just to show you all what's to come